You know, all things considered, it's been a really, really nice month of September weather-wise, yeah. which is good because we can think back to those days during this <laughs> final week because this week is going to stink. Yeah, this week didn't start off well and it's not going to end well, right, Lainey? <laughs> yeah, Monday was kind of a gray day, right? We had the fog, we had the mist, we had some rain at times. There is Mount Airy today. Mayberry Days is taking place this week, and you know we don't want rain for that. Right now, we do have wet weather in the forecast, and right now we're thinking the main day that's impacted is Friday with that tropical system, but that can change and will likely change. Also coming up on Saturday, that Alzheimer's walk that is in Alamance County in Burlington. Right now, we do have clouds, muggy conditions, and a chance for some wet weather. In fact, every day this week, there's an opportunity for showers and or thunderstorms. We've got a risk for severe weather tomorrow. We talked about that at the top of the newscast. We're also watching that weather system down to the south that will likely become Tropical Storm Helene and then maybe Hurricane Helene before making landfall. Right now, temperatures are down. You would think it'd be cool, but it's not because dew points are very close to current temperatures, so it is really humid across the area. We're going to have fog. We're going to have mist that will continue. We had some heavier rains just north of Sparta today, closer to an inch, and we were in that marginal risk today for heavy rainfall across the area. You can see that right now we've got light to moderate rain moving in. Down around High Rock Lake, you got a few sprinkles. You go over 85, you work your way north toward 40 in Moxville, and you do have at least some light rain pushing in. Now we've got some scattered light rain showers over Wilkes and Surrey County as well. I do think we'll see some occasional showers overnight and early tomorrow morning. Might even have a rumble of thunder. Morning temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 60s. And then tomorrow afternoon, we have a better chance of seeing some thunderstorms develop, which could be severe. Damaging wind, large hail, heavy rain threats coming from those. That excessive rainfall area expands east all the way to Raleigh and the severe thunderstorm zone, which is also marginal, kind of a low threat, but still exists down to Charlotte, Columbia, Triad, and that is that threat for damaging wind and large hail. That's because the front that has kind of sat over us is going to slowly work its way away into the north and to the east. So that'll get us into this real unstable air, at least for the next couple of days. That front is moving real slowly to the west and that's going to have an impact too when we start to factor in that tropical system coming in from the south with the approach of that front from the west. So looking at the radar right now, we do have at least some showers around. So we're going to keep that around through tomorrow morning. <coughs> Otherwise, I think it's going to be fairly quiet at least early in the day. Don't expect too much sunshine. We'll have a lot of clouds by afternoon. We are going to have those storms developing likely first in the mountains and foothills and then tracking east. I would say dinner hour through midnight, probably a good chance for some pretty stormy weather tomorrow. And we are in that risk zone. Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point. Mount Airy, North Wilkesboro. Here's the forecast. High of 78 scattered storms with the impact coming in late in the day. For the foothills, upper 70s also with that thunder and an impact late afternoon through evening. For the mountains, it starts a little bit sooner after lunchtime continues through early evening before it gets a little bit quieter. 35 mile per hour winds with this potential tropical cyclone 9. That's the 11 o'clock advisory. It's moving north northwest at 6 miles an hour. Forecast track has it becoming a hurricane Wednesday evening category 1 as it enters the Gulf of Mexico and then potentially strengthening before a landfall that may be along the Florida coast. And of course, we're going to be factoring in that front that's going to be moving in from the west with that. So on the current track, it looks like we start to get rain late Thursday into Friday, perhaps lingering into Saturday. This is likely going to be changed a good bit as we move forward, folks, but we'll encourage you to stay tuned here and we will keep you up to date with the very latest.